Hello to everyone. My name is Jean-Claude Lenis. I am from Belgium and I am a chemist and biologist in human medicine, graduated from the Free University of Brussels. I was born on January 18, 1941. In the 70s, I have done my PhD in the field of the first step in coagulation under the direction of the Professor Graham Jamison at the American National Red Cross Research Laboratory in Bethesda, Maryland in the USA. I created my own clinical biology laboratory in 1982 and my research lab in 1983. So I have been doing private research for more than 35 years. It was a very big surprise for me and my family when I got a message from Rula informing me about my title, Distinguished Researcher in Oncology. I want to warmly thank Sir Abu Tahir, the President of World Research Council, for this international scientific recognition. What a great honor for me, and this at the end of my career, even if I am still continuing to work today. About phytotherapy, for more than 50 years, the therapeutic properties of pentacyclic triterpenoids like betulin, betulonic acid and betulonic acid found in the bark of birch species are very interesting and certainly in regard of the anti-cancer activities. But the insolubility of those compounds limit their therapeutic use in cancer treatments. Therefore, we first decided to create an oily soluble derivative of betulonic acid. And secondly, water-soluble betulonic acid derivative retaining cytotoxicity and having high selectivity towards tumor cells without affecting normal cells. Because of its insolubility in water, the question was, what type of more specific derivatives should we use not to target healthy cells? Compared with normal cells, cancer requires an increase in the concentration of cholesterol. Cholesterol is just a nutrient for cancer cell. Cholesterol is involved in the lipid raft of cell membrane. In order to induce the water solubility of the cholesterol ester of betulonic acid, we use methoxypolyethylene glycol. I regret not to be able to be among you today. I once again would like to deeply thank Sir Abu Tayyip the President of World Research Council, for giving me this valuable honor award crowning my research career. Thank you to everyone.